First, we're going to start with some pickup lines. And you know, truck drivers, they need several things. They need free coffee refills at diners. They need forgiving scales at way stations. What they do not need is the pole at Flemington Speedway. A pole winner has never won a truck series race there. In fact, last year's pole winner, Terry Cook, smashed into the wall just a split second after his qualifying run and ended up having to go all the way to the back of the pack. Stacy Compton trying to change this year's first place starter's luck. In the Bob Stevens Larry Beal 200. It's actually just Stevens and Beal we had at the bottom. Larry Park. See, we're riding along with Jack Sprague there. He had a problem. It was his 34th birthday. His transmission went out and he was done pretty much. Stacy Compton led most of the way looking for a second win. Here is last week's winner, Andy Houston, in assist 60. Houston, goodbye. He would finish 20th. For an infraction there, Barfield, Ron Barfield, who caused that little wreck by Houston, got himself a 15-second penalty, but he rallied, finished seventh. Midway pit stop, Compton lost first gear. They were looking for it, didn't find it under the truck. On the restart, it's Compton, trailed by Joe Ruffin and Terry Cook. Soon after, Cook is pushing hard on the outside, passes Ruffin for second place. That's the 88 going by the 99 there. Good Compton hold him off. Here comes Cook, now working on Compton. Cook in the 88, Compton in the 86, Cook's in the 88 because they don't change trucks in the middle of the race. Watch them get together. Door handle to door handle. Flatbed to flatbed. Wide open racing deal into the wall of voodoo. Go Stacy Compton. He would finish 28. So it would be Cook in the lead, trailed by Ron Hornaday, and it would be Cook with the recipe for his first ever win, his best finish this year prior was a 10th place finish and for the second week in a row we have a first time winner on the truck series Terry Cook getting a measure of redemption after that pole catastrophe a year ago at Flemington Hornaday finishes second Brian Reffner gets the best finish of his career Joe Rutman breaks a string of three straight third place finishes but still not bad in fourth place Hensley was fifth but everybody was chasing Terry Cook who is your winner First one ever, man. This is pumped up. This is exciting, man. This this is the big time, and and um, I'm pretty excited. We we came here last year, and um, I crashed, sat on the pole, but crashed, and I felt as though I owed it to the crew and the team, and I um, came back here and thought I had something to prove, and qualified fourth, and and at halftime I knew we had a good trucker halfway in the race, and I'm um, just steadily worked away from there and ended up getting it today. And boy, we are already excited. We're we're pumped up. We're gonna do some partying tonight. Terry Cook ready to cook up a little party and why not in his 34th career start he picks up his first career win actually he's the fourth first time winner on the circuit this year joining Andy Houston who you saw have a wreck in that race on Saturday Stacy Compton Rick Crawford also picking up their first wins of the season a guy who has won several times finished right on Cook's bumper and he spoke afterward I didn't know how good our truck was, you know, and Fred started the, the, the Napa Brake Chevrolet with a low air pressure, and we came up, and uh, we thought we were going to have something, and uh, I don't know why, but I just don't don't think of anything. I just started pushing that gas pedal, and, and I started tearing right front tire off it. Made a change halfway break. We could have won a little bit more, but uh, I'm just proud of Terry Cook for winning that race. Got underneath the 61 truck going down the back, and he didn't want to didn't want to give me any room, and uh, turned hard left and got us in the right front and spun me out. And, it's not the first time that's happened with him. I guess he just doesn't have a spotter, but the spin didn't hurt us. You know, uh, Wayne came in there with nowhere to go and hit us, and it wasn't his fault. He was just a victim, and when I got hit, it bent the rear end up pretty good, messed transmission up, so, you know, we stayed out there long enough to where we weren't going to lose any more positions, but to stay out there from here on out wouldn't do us any good. Well, Spray came in next to last, and boy, I'm telling you what, it hurt him big time in the point standings. He drops down to third behind Hornaday and Rutman, both of whom had good runs in this thing. Jay Sauter moves into the top five ahead of Stacey Thompson.